I'm Emmeline. Now London. What a beautiful city. But the summers can get a little too hectic and way too noisy. So for our summer special of Emma About Town, we are taking it outside and we are going luxury camping. But don't worry, it's just on our doorstep. are in Sussex with Alina from Freedom Camping. Thank you for letting me interview you. Wanted to find out what inspires you to start a glamping site. So I was staying in Lisbon last summer and um, I stayed on a farm just outside the city. I was really relaxed. I love looking up at the stars, um, just getting out of the city, out of the chaos, the clean air. I absolutely loved it and I thought it'd be amazing to bring something like that to London. I feel like your mind can just get so fuzzy being in London, so coming yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. You really can nice. unwind, relax, get back to nature, digital detox, you know, step away from the technology. You really can relax. I do meditation when I'm abroad. I find it really easy. Like, I've been on yoga retreats, I've done meditation in India. But when I get back to London, I just feel like it's so intense. I can't relax and do meditation. I've got so many different messages going on in my mind. Oh, what am I cooking for dinner? <laughs> like, have I put the bins out? <laughs> There's only five bell tents on site, so it's really peaceful. The field's so secluded. You won't hear any cars. You won't see any buildings here. Have you always lived in London? No, no, I'm from Birmingham, and um, I didn't really like Birmingham. So when I grew up and I was like 16, London was like, you know, I need to live there. <laughs> I was there for a few years and um, I got sick of it. I was unhappy in work. It was wearing me down. Just going away from London and coming back and having like a small break, you can really, you know, realise that London is an incredible place to live. Um, but just sometimes it can get a bit claustrophobic and you just do need that bit of escapism, which is, you know, what drove me to set this up. I had the idea from last summer and I kind of developed it um, over the winter and I created some marketing packs and I was literally knocking on farmers doors, you know, are you interested in having these tents on site? Was there anything that was sort of holding you back? I guess it was just fear of, you know, this idea not working out. It's not something I've done before, a pop-up campsite, you don't really hear about them too often. But, you know, it's great to try new things. There's always something you can gain from every situation, so. Starting a small business, you have lots of challenges. And um, I guess just reading about how other successful people have, you know, overcome those issues really helps me. I think when I have bad days, I know good days are going to follow because, you know, that's the way life is. And there's so much to be taken, there's so much good to be taken from every situation. Like if you're having a bad experience, you've got lessons there. If you're having a great day, you know, life's good. So when bad things happen, you can take goodness from it always. It's worked out really well this summer, I've really enjoyed it. The guests really enjoy it here. It's so peaceful. I'd love to take it to um, farms outside cities in different locations. So it could be in Manchester, somewhere in Europe, who knows.